everyone and welcome to a new video in our section solving problems in my farm. Today we're going to speak about a very very common problem inside of vertical farms. You know we provide consulting, uh, we also teach short courses and uh, one of the most common issues that we know the growers uh, talk with us about is fungi. So why are you getting fungi inside of your vertical farm? Today we are going to learn how to solve this issue and how to avoid, more importantly, how to avoid this problem with a good management of environmental variables. If you are a microgreens grower or a leafy greens grower working in an enclosed environment like a plant factory, you probably have experience with fungi because it's common at least once, right? So why? Why this happen inside of plant factories? When we work on the management of plant factories, we need to understand the environmental variables. There are two environmental variables that are very important when working in this kind of environment, humidity and also temperature. And if we want to relate both variables to also get sure that we don't have this kind of problem inside of plant factories, we can also speak about BPD, which is vapor pressure deficit. So today I'm going to guide you on how to understand these variables and how to avoid fungi inside of your plant factory by having the correct tools to control the environment, which is sometimes one of the most common issues. You need to have a gas exchange so you can recover here in a plant factory. We most of the time tend, or we have a tendency to have very humid and warm climate if we don't do anything about that. I mean, if you put plants inside of enclosed environment, you will get humidity and you will get temperature. Because when we have, for example, when the plants are transpiring, the humidity is increasing. And when we have too much humidity and we have condensation, that is going to release heat. So we need to work on how to provide the conditions to our room to be able to uh, get rid of that warm and humid air. In order to replace the humid and warm air with an air with a better condition of temperature and humidity, we need to have ventilation. Ventilation is really important 24 seven. We need to have any kind of ventilation inside. Obviously, depending on the crop, uh, it will be the requirements of ventilation. If you have high density uh, of, for example, microgreens, you need to have good fans so you can create at least small movement on the leaves. Um, if you are working with lettuce, uh, you need to respect the plant density, which is 24 uh, head of lettuce per square meter for most of the most common uh, um, cultivars. You need to check that too, by the way. Uh, so first respect the density and create good airflow inside of the facility. Now, now that you have good airflow inside of the facility, you probably will also require an exhaust fan. The exhaust fan will be the tool that will help you to replace the air. Otherwise, uh, by having ventilation, you cannot get sure that you are going to reduce humidity that much. So all the time you need to get an exhaust fan inside of a plant factory so you can get rid of that excess of humidity inside of the system. And again, this is very common because the plant is transpiring, we are also irrigating, so we have transpiration and evapotranspiration, which is the one that is coming from the substrate. So uh, in order to avoid this, we need the exhaust fan. And also, if you want uh, to have another tool to get sure that your room is good in terms of temperature and also humidity, you can use also BPD. So BPD is vapor pressure deficit. We have more videos in our channel speaking about BPD. You can calculate BPD. There are some calculators available. I will get sure to provide a link on the caption of this uh, video. And um, BPD is the amount of moisture that you can still put inside of the system before reaching the saturation point. We know humidity is good for plants, right? But we, we don't want to cross the line and have fungi. So by working with BPD, 
you can uh, be sure, I mean, if you are, if you are tracking uh, your environmental variables, you can get sure when you are reaching a point that can be bad for your system. So in order to calculate BPD, we need to know the temperature and also humidity. And uh, BPD is measured in kilopascals, and for microgreens, for example, we try to keep something around 1, like 1 1.1, 1 1.3 kilopascals. Um, and remember, BPD is the amount of air, that, uh, the amount of uh, moisture that you can still put inside of the system. So if you have like a high, high BPD, if your BPD is high, that means that your humidity is very low and that you can still put more moisture in the air. If BPD is getting smaller, that means that you are saturating your system with humidity, okay? So that is a great tool to avoid this kind of problem. In Heart Americas, we have good experience working with growers, and we know, like for example, starting a business of microgreens can be something easy to do. Uh, we have a lot of people in the United States and also Latin America working in this kind of small business uh, that can be profitable and uh, you can start like easy. But remember, it's always important to have knowledge. So one of the most common problems that we get from the microgreens growers, uh, like small scale, middle scale, is the problem of fungi because you are like trying to work in a room, you put the fans, but sometimes uh, you are missing some aspects, like for example, textiles fan. So if you are using an AC unit, the AC unit sometimes can also be able to release some humidity from the system, right? Uh, but if you notice that uh, you have fans on, AC on, and you still feel like suffocated, you need something else. So that is when you are reaching the point of the use of the exhaust fan. So in most of the rooms, you need to have the exhaust fan. So be sure that you have that from the beginning so you can avoid this kind of problem. When working in plant factories, there is also some sanitation protocols that we need to follow. For example, when working with microgreens, there is a process that we need to follow. Uh, in case uh, you are working with a particular seed that requires uh, cleaning before seeding, it's important to do that process. Otherwise, you can develop fungi. And the type of fungi that we see on microgreens most of the time is mold. So you need to pay attention to the process. And also, uh, depending on your irrigation strategies, uh, you need to pay attention a lot to the drainage. Uh, you know we have here, when we when we go microgreens, let me show you this. So these are some radish microgreens here, oops. So uh, when you are working with microgreens, you have a lot of plant density and you have a lot of roots on the substrate, right? So you need to have a good drainage. So a key also to avoid fungi is to uh, have trays with good quality, good holes, and obviously work with the irrigation uh, strategy. The best way to irrigate microgreens is by having an ebb and flow system. Uh, you can also do manual irrigation sometimes, uh, but any kind of irrigation that you're using, you need to pay attention uh, to the drainage. That's really important. And there is also some substance that you, that you can use to, uh, to clean uh, the material, to clean your trays uh, or clean the seeds too. Uh, for example, hydrogen peroxide uh, can be used uh, for cleaning your material. So pay, pay attention to that. And of course, if you are, for example, like dropping water on the floor, you need to pay attention to clean everything. Um, that is also uh, good advice if you want to avoid uh, fungi inside of plant factories. So remember, if you are entering to your plant factory and you see something like this, you need to pay attention to your environmental variables too. Go back and check revised fans, exhaust fans, ventilation, density, and of course, also sanitation protocols to maintain everything as clean as possible. If you pay attention to all of that, you should be able to avoid fungi problems. If you already have fungi problems, you need obviously to get rid of the product, clean everything and start from fresh. And of course, after cleaning, it's very important to go back and check like, why is this happening? Why am I doing wrong? Go back and check and make the modifications to your room uh, so you can have better temperature, um, humidity. Uh, I always use the word suffocated. So 
try to avoid to feel like suffocated inside of the room. You need to feel like fresh inside. Um, and you can use the BPD. I mean, BPD is a great tool. Uh, we have more videos on BPD if you want to learn more about uh, this variable. Uh, you can use this variable in order to know when you are getting close to a problem of fungi. Uh, and with that, I have finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is one of the most common problems that we get from a uh, microgreens grower. So uh, I hope uh, you now can find like more tools on how to manage your room inside of vertical farms when growing leafy greens uh, like microgreens, baby leaves, or even lettuce. Okay, so my name is Carla Garcia, Hort America's technical service. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave comments, any questions, we're happy to answer them and see you on the next video.